Number 1 Boeing AH-64 Apache The Apache Attack Helicopter is a combat-proven aircraft manufactured by American Aerospace and defense company Boeing for the U.S. Armed Forces. The helicopter entered service with the U.S. Army in 1984 and has been exported to a number of countries, including Egypt, Greece, Israel, India, Singapore, the Netherlands, Japan, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, UAE, and the UK. The Boeing AH-64 Apache is an American twin-turboshaft attack helicopter with a tailwheel-type landing gear arrangement and a tandem cockpit for a crew of two. It features a nose-mounted sensor suite for target acquisition and night vision systems. It is armed with a 30mm, 1.18-in, HIM-230 chain gun carried between the main landing gear. The AH-64E has new composite rotor blades. These are designed to withstand hits from 23mm anti-aircraft guns. Maximum speed of this helicopter is up to 300 km per hour. How many missiles can an Apache take? 16 missiles. The Apache carries the missiles on four firing rails attached to pylons mounted to its wings. There are two pylons on each wing, and each pylon can support four missiles, so the Apache can carry as many as 16 missiles at a time. Number 2 Bell AH-1Z Viper The Bell AH-1Z is the only attack helicopter in the world with fully integrated air-to-air -air missile capability, giving you an airborne edge. The Bell AH-1Z Viper is a twin-engine attack helicopter, based on the AH-1W Super Cobra, designed and produced by the American aerospace manufacturer Bell Helicopter. Despite all improvements and upgrades appearance of the AH-1Z remains the same. Pilot is seated at the rear and co-pilot slash gunner at the front. Layout of two integrated digital cockpits is identical and all systems are duplicated. This helicopter uses off-the-shelf electronic systems. It can operate in day, night, or adverse weather conditions. It has night vision twinned with infrared and new target search and acquisition software. It permits Viper to find and engage targets at long range. It can be fitted with longbow fire control radar, mounted on wingtip station. Also there is automatic flight control station. The AH-1Z carries about 2T of various weapons on stub wings. Number 3 Kamovka 52 Kamovka 52 is an all-weather attack helicopter operated by the Russian Air Force. Developed by Kamov Design Bureau, part of Russian helicopters, Ka-52 is a twin-seat variant of the Ka-50 attack helicopter. The Ka-52 helicopter can destroy enemy armored and unarmored ground targets, low-speed aerial targets and personnel at the front line and in tactical depth. It is also deployed as a surveillance platform and aerial command post for a group of attack helicopters. The first Ka-52 helicopter was rolled out in December 1996. The helicopter completed its first flight in June 1997. The serial production of Ka-52 began in 2008 at Progress Arsenyev Aviation Plant in the Primorye region of Russia. Russia plans to equip its proposed Mistral-class amphibious assault ships with Ka-52K helicopters. Ka-52K is a naval variant of the Ka-52 Alligator. The Ka-52 helicopter can fly at a maximum altitude of 5, 500m. The maximum and cruise speeds of the helicopter are 300 km per hour and 260 km per hour respectively. The helicopter can climb at a rate of 12 meters per second. Number 4 Milmi 28 The Milmi 28, NATO reporting name Havoc, is a Russian all-weather, day-night, military tandem, two-seat anti-armor attack helicopter. It is an attack helicopter with no intended secondary transport capability, better optimized than the Milne 24 gunship for the role. It carries a single gun in an undernose barbette, 
plus external loads carried on pylons beneath stub wings. Mi-28 can fly at a maximum speed of 300 km per hour, can fly rearwards and sideways at speeds up to 100 km per hour and is able to hover turn at 45 degrees a second. The Mi-28A has small swept back, mid-mounted stub wings with four suspension units. Countermeasures pods are mounted on the wingtips. The helicopter can be armed with a mixture of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, unguided rockets, and pod guns. The Attica missile's guidance is by narrow radar beam, and maximum range of the missile is 8 kilometers. The missile has a tandem-shaped charge warhead for penetration of 950 mm to 1000 mm armor. Number 5 Augusta A129 Mangusta The Augusta A129 Mangusta is an attack helicopter originally designed and produced by Italian company Augusta. It is the first attack helicopter to be designed and produced wholly in Europe. It has continued to be developed by Augusta Westland, the successor company to Augusta. It has been exclusively operated by the Italian Army, which introduced the type to service during 1990. The A-129 has undergone several combat deployments, seeing use in Somalia, Afghanistan, and Iraq. It has proven well-suited to operating in hot climates, as well as quite flexible in the field. The original 60 rotorcraft have been upgraded multiple times since entering service with the Italian Army, improvements have included compatibility with additional munitions, new targeting systems, improved avionics, better data handling, and a more powerful transmission. The Italian helicopter can reach a maximum speed of 278 km per hour, a stable cruise speed of 229 km per hour. Number 6 Danel AH-2 Royvok The Danel Royvok, previously designated AH-2 and CSH-2, is an attack helicopter manufactured by Danel Aviation of South Africa. Royvok is Afrikaans 4 Red Falcon, which refers to the lesser kestrel. Development of the type began in 1984 by the Atlas Aircraft Corporation, its development is closely connected to the Atlas Oryx transport helicopter, both aircraft being based on the Aerospatial SA-330 Puma and having started development at the same time. The Royvok carries a comprehensive range of weaponry selected for the mission requirement, ranging from anti-armor and anti-helicopter missions to ground suppression and ferry missions. The aircraft can engage multiple targets at short and long range, utilizing the nose-mounted cannon and a range of underwing-mounted munitions. The 20mm F2 dual-feed gas-operated cannon fires high-speed, 1,100 meters per second, ammunition at a firing rate of 740 rounds a minute. Two ammunition bins hold up to 700 rounds of ready-to-fire ammunition. The slew rate of the cannon is 90 degrees a second. Number 7 Z-10 the Z-10 is a Chinese medium attack helicopter developed for the People's Liberation Army Ground Force. It is designed primarily for anti-tank warfare missions but has secondary air-to-air -air combat capability as well. The Z-10 helicopter has a standard gunship configuration with a narrow fuselage and step tandem cockpits. Gunner is seated at the front and the pilot is at the rear. The fuselage has sloped sides to reduce radar cross-section. All vital areas are believed to be protected by armor plates. Weapons of the Z-10 may consist of 30mm cannon, HJ-8 or HJ-9 anti-tank guided missiles, comparable to the TOW-2A, newly developed HJ-10 anti-tank missiles, comparable to the AGM-114 Hellfire, and TY-90 air-to-air missiles. It can also carry unoperated rocket pods. Number 8 Eurocopter Tiger The Eurocopter Tiger is a four-blade, twin-engine attack helicopter which first entered service in 2003. It is manufactured by Airbus Helicopters, formerly Eurocopter, which arose from the merger of Aerospatials and DASA's respective helicopter divisions. Airbus Helicopters designates it as the EC-665. In France and Spain, the Tiger has the distinction of being the first all-composite helicopter developed in Europe, 
and incorporates other advanced features such as a glass cockpit, stealth technology, and high agility in order to increase its survivability. Improved variants have also begun to enter service, outfitted with more powerful engines and compatible with a wider range of weapons. Since the Type's introduction to service, Tigers have been used in combat in Afghanistan, Libya, and Mali. The Tiger's notable qualities, it possesses very high levels of agility, much of which is attributed to the design of its 13-meter four-bladed hingeless main rotor, the Tiger can perform full loops and negative G maneuvers. Power is provided by a pair of FADEC-controlled MTU Turbomica Rolls-Royce MTR390 turboshaft engines, 